Hey everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we will take a look at how to properly use braided sleeving. Braided sleeving is usually used to protect wires, cables or hoses against abrasion, chemicals and UV lights while allowing air to circulate and dissipate the heat from the cables. So let's get to the use and application of braided sleeving. We, uh, the company WKK Fixation Materials, offer braided sleeving in a handy dispenser box like this one uh, that lets you cut only the length you actually need. But due to the woven fiber structure of any braided sleeving, it may fray when not cut and sealed properly. So to prevent that, you have different options. The first method is to heat seal the ends. This braided sleeving melts at uh, circa 250 degrees Celsius, so any heat above this temperature will heat seal the fibers ends by melting them together. If available, you do that with a hot knife or even a heat gun uh, like this one, uh, where the hot air, which is coming out from here, will cut through the sleeving like an invisible blade and will leave both the ends heat sealed. <music> You could use a lighter, but due to the missing temperature control, this is not really recommended to do. A second option is to physically seal, or better, to fixate the endings. Here it's especially important to use sharp scissors to cut it so the initial fraying is as low as possible. Once you've applied the braided sleeving to the cables, simply use a cable tie or a piece of heat shrink tubing uh, to fixate the sleeve's ends and its fibers. The application itself is super easy. You just push the sleeve over the cables or wires that you want to protect. Even when you heat seal the ends, it's still recommended to fixate the ends with cable ties, for example, if there's a risk of the sleeve slipping out of position. Also, after a while, the heat sealing, if you use the first method, uh, may get loose as well, so it's actually always a good idea to use some additional cable ties or heat shrink tubing to keep it in place even if these uh, sealing might get uh, loose. Please also note that you should only heat seal in a well-ventilated area or while wearing proper respiratory protection, as heating the polyester or nylon might release fumes that can be harmful if inhaled. So to keep your fumes low, make sure to use tools with temperature control, like the heat gun, as mentioned before. I hope that was some useful information to you and if so, we would be happy for a like and also a channel subscription and in case you have any questions, please just drop them down in the comments below. Also, if you run a business in Europe that needs fixation materials like braided sleeving, uh, cable ties or heat shrink tubing, don't forget to check out the sponsor of this video, WKK Group at wkk-europe.com uh, where you can find all of the products we've used here and many other products of this kind. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.